We are now on our second Easter egg in our return to Cold War to freshen up on the story for BO6. And this one is one of my favorites. We're hopping on a Firebase C. And it's one of my favorites mainly because of the ending. Last time we left off, we just found out about Project N Station. We took out the whole base there on D Machina. And now we're in search for Samantha Maxis. And we actually get our first introduction to Rabinoff. I actually am. Is this his first introduction? It's gotta be, right? You don't show up anywhere else before this. And if only I could tell you what's gonna happen to you in the later games, Rabinoff. I really wish he, he actually got the playable operator. I, I was so sad when he was supposed to get one back in like towards the end of Cold War and they ended up just like canceling it. But now he's telling us that Dr. Peck has taken Maxis and we need to go find where Dr. Peck is at. That way we can figure out where the hell Maxis is. Take the teleporter on the roof. It is safe. Mostly. What's not safe about the teleporter, Rabinov? What's gonna happen? But even just besides like Rabinov not getting his like operator for like multiplayer and all that, it would have been so nice to have him as like a playable character in this game. Just a set crew in this game would have gone so far and I'm glad that we're finally getting it in BO6. And we got a him with the preemptive shut up pack. I don't wanna hear it. Great, now I've got- Dickhead? Let's test a hypothesis. <laughs> Requiem agents will restore facility power if offered Agent Maxis as reward. Go. Shut up, nerd. I do what I want. And you know what? Since we still gotta earn a little bit of money here, let's hit up the trial machine and see if we can get our Ray K early. I love hitting the trial here early in Firebase because there's only two zones, so it's not gonna have us be like, oh, go survive in, uh, you know, Aether Reactor 2. The only places it can give us is right here and in spawn. And the rest of the challenges are going to be like either kill based or like this one not taking damage. And one of the hardest challenges I've ever done in zombies period has been trying to survive here on Firebase with only the rewards I can get from using the trial machine. I kind of want to revisit that. It seems like fun. But this trial music is giving me PTSD because I was trying to get to round 100 doing it. And I think the furthest we got was maybe round 30 because the limit on what this trial machine can give you is like, it it'll only give you like pack-a-punch one weapon. Sometimes you can get perks. Other times it's just like salvage, which you can use at the, the crafting station to get some like lethals and tacticals to help you out. But it's just su such a tough challenge. But speaking of challenge, that's one done. Start up the next. Kill zombies in location courtyard all right we're heading on back to spawn there we go we're up to rare i don't know if there's gonna be enough zombies here in round three for us to get this all the way up there we go up to epic one more challenge should do it for us kill enemies from a higher elevation El El whatever english read a book challenge that would be impossible if you can read one page of a harry potter book i was just not done i've gotten all my kills from up here all right this next challenge is gonna be short Kill zombies with equipment. Got it. Now, this should be a good amount of zombies. One Semtex should do it. Perfect. Now, did we do all this for nothing? We did. Please don't be Tombstone. Oh, that's probably the worst perk I could have gotten besides Tombstone. I really do not want Electric Cherry or Elemental Pop. Electric Cherry is what I do want, but I really don't want to start brain rotting these mimics. I actually might have you knock me. Go for it, buddy. You earned it. I don't want it. This one's on the house. Because that's just going to make the mimic step later even more hard to do. And I don't have enough for another soft revive. All right, we're going to play balls to the wall. You should probably uh, go ahead and start getting power on since we just wasted all that time. And Dr. Cuck is somewhere in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do all the heavy lifting, buddy. You just keep an eye out. There we go. That's our first reactor done. Okay, Peck. We did as you asked. Where is she? That's one done, but I count three reactors. Guess we can confirm now math isn't your strong suit. You kind of gave him a layup there, Weaver. Not gonna lie. That's two reactors done. One rail grinded. Shit. I don't think there's been a time where I've hit it on the first try after the reactor. So he's second time's the charm. That one counts. And where are these at? Is this all on a uh, D Machina? These all the locations there? Zombie, hold on. I'm trying to look. This looks like the forest there. We'll, we'll, we'll revisit that if I remember. But we gotta get this last reactor going. And our last reactor is online. That should be power. There is a weapon forged at my location. It is now operational. It makes weapons fire bullets that cut like Soviet steel. Your team should use. On it, boss. And I'll be using it right away. Let's pack a punch immediately. They're gonna pack one. No pack a punch camo for me today. We're rocking a little dark aether. And on one of the coolest mastercrafts that they've ever put out. Let's just let it fly on its own here. 
do its own thing. I really hope we get back to some Mastercrafts like this. It'll actually make getting bundles worth it. But I also am going to need some quick revive if I do end up going down, which is almost guaranteed to happen. All right. What's going on, dude? Where is Maxis? Right now, I'd imagine fighting for her life against all sorts of awful monstrosities. Look at his smug fucking face, dude. Please let me punch this guy on BO6. I just want to hit him. But I do appreciate you turning the power on. Now I can transfer my research back to Omega. Thanks for that. What research? You don't do shit but jerk off in here. Come, see me. There is more than one way to kill a sabaka. You got it, boss. What you got for me, baby girl? When Omega first sent men into the dark ether, they came back crazy, telling stories we knew could not be true. Do they have, like, audio logs of that? Probably buried in the intel that I never touched. It would be cool to see what, like, some of the first soldiers to go in the Dark Aether said about it. This truth serum will make that bastard back tell you anything. Ain't no way they developed a truth serum. But I guess we'll take his, uh, Sam's Club card and go pick up the ingredients for it. Let's open this up. Get our first sample, compound S16. The S stands for semen. Our next compound's right here. Open up. Give me that. Compound 36. And our last one's here at home in kernels. Let's swipe that open. Greet our boys. How's it going, gentlemen? And we'll get compound P65. I wonder if those numbers and letters actually mean anything or they're just like, eh, yeah, let's name it something. Let's do our best cooking mama impression and mix this shit up. Oh, don't call me Private Butterfingers. I didn't do shit, but put it in there. All it does is spin it. And Butterfingers, you even know what that is? I ain't dropped a pass in my life. I'm the Larry Fitzgerald of this. Why don't you come out here and do it, Carver? You big baby bitch. I uh, will take the delivery system. He used to be a scientist at DARPA. He's got a sharp mind. What's a DARPA? Is that like Agartha? That don't make any sense. But either way, we're giving this guy popcorn lung. I'm going to make him a smoke on them Fortnite carts. Looks identical to it, too. You enjoy that, Peck. My truth serum. I like how he knew exactly what it was just based on the color of the smoke. It's like, shit, you found my Mario Kart? This better be the Indica. You fucking tweaker. Peck must have been so bored here. He's like, you know what? This, this traitor we found, Maxis, send her to another dimension. I'm going to sit here and try to figure out how to get high. Now he's doing the shmurda dance. I guess while he's doing that... I can go and look at these again. Are these just the dark aether? Because it looks a lot like D Machine, all right? Is this it? Host being blown up? Or maybe they're tracking. These are like uh, trail cams and they're tracking Orta walking around there in that forest. Is Martha even real? Or is she part of his imagination? We forgot to feed Captain Whiskers. Oh, that's fucked up. You got to feed that cat. And he does have a cuck chair, too. Shit's not adding up, Peck. Also, why can I not inhale it through this little speaker? I want to get a little high too, Peck. I made that shit. Puff, puff, pass, buddy. But to locate Maxis, you'll need her dimensional tracker ID tag. Sabine has that. Oh, yeah. They're all dead. <laughs> or infected. Head to the data center. There may be something that can help you. That actually brings up a pretty good point that he said they're all either dead or infected. Because we have a device that, you know, is the whole mimic step, step of us, like, trying to get their memories out of these mimics. So the mimics were formerly people, but are they dead or are they just, in, like, completely infected? Is there a way to reverse it? Or is it just, like... We're recovering lost data on like a broken hard drive almost. I guess it is an essence trap and we can collect their essence from it and like download their data, but it's such a weird concept. And the round ended. Awesome. Let's get to it. I'm in mission control. Yeah, Peck, we already talked to you. Catch up, buddy. But this is probably going to be easier for us if we end the round first. I'm pretty sure this mimic is not it. I don't want to get caught in the trap of grabbing every single mimic we see. Because this is not one of the locations we can find it at. But I guess while we're in the area, let's go ahead and do our David Dobrik impression. Where's our zombie at? Is he not here? Am I stupid? He's usually right here, right? We have to go open the door to the lab first. All right, we'll scratch that. But our first mimic should be over here. We just got to look for an item on the ground or an extra item on the ground. And he should spawn in. Why are you not here? Don't do this to me. This is not how this works. I think we've already been bested by the mimic step. It's already got us. But we can look over here. I think this is one of the spawns. If not, we can just go ahead and grab the plans for the Ray K. Give me that and start working on building it. Wait a minute. Oh, was his body here the whole time and I just didn't see it? All right, whatever. All part of the job. Give me that eye. Yeah. 
What a delicious little morsel. I'm not gonna lie, the first time, that jump scare got me a little bit. But now, I'm immune. You can also keep the knife. I don't need that. But if our mimic's not over here, it's gotta be on this side of the portal. And if it's not on this side of the portal in spawn, then we're gonna have to go up around. And it's gonna make this a lot more difficult. I am not seeing the item here. It's supposed to be in Peck's room. Am I forgetting something? Did I not do something right? Wouldn't be surprised. All right, awesome. Off to a great start. Or maybe they just spawn the round after we actually get the essence traps. That makes a little more sense. And I was very new to zombies by the time Firebase Day came out. I think I just started playing Cold War around the time firebase c came out but i wish i could have been there for the easter egg hunt of this or maybe i don't because this step is very annoying even when you know what to do i just want to like go and see the the thought process behind we need these three different mimics because this must have taken forever and i'm not seeing any items here so let's head on back over to the mainland oh here we go here's an item on the ground that should be our mimic or at least has a chance to be yeah there's a bunch of other items laying here that will not transform so we just need to get them to low enough health that way we can capture them like a pokemon let's try to get them away from these zombies a little bit and get in there there you go gimme now please tell me we're one for one on the mimics oh let's go i love how it just pinpoints the exact memory we're looking for and i don't remember if we can get all the mimics in the same round or if it's just one of the mimics we need spawns per round is there any items over here by kernels? I'm um, not seeing any. While we already have the round dwindled down, let's scan the eyeball. That drawer will open up and we get the locker key. We can go into here and try to find which lockers got what we're looking for. Modern Warfare Zombies reference? Give me a three plate. Maybe even a large backpack. Is that it? Yep. Gimme. Now we just need a mango to spawn to get our last piece for it. Actually, that's not true. We got a dartboard step to do. Let's use the computer. Uh-oh. Accidentally ended the round. Okay, so it was there. Middle right. Or a little bit over middle right. Then it goes down to one underneath that. And then bottom middle. Okay. We can do that. Oh, I see an item on the ground. Where are you, buddy? I've been waiting for you. There he is. Let's lower your health. Can't be too healthy. Start smoking some cigarettes or something. And let's get you in there. There we go. Gimme. Toss this in here. Come on. We gotta be two for two. Let's go, baby. Two for two. And let's see if I can get this. It was one above middle, one below middle, and one bottom middle. Did I do it? I don't think so. You know what? Maybe we don't even need it. Is our bunny here? Can we go to the secret land? Come on, Mr. Peaks. We go way back. There we go. I almost forgot about this, but I did already buy Jug. So I guess we're not going to get our free Jug out of it. But maybe they'll give us the Reiki. Ooh, go ahead and get it. Ah, uh, let's see it, game. Help me out. Nope. We got the Hower. How are these nuts? How are they tasting? How you like them? How you like your nuts cooked? Maybe our Mimic spawned in the time that we were in the Aether. Oh, uh, yep, there he is. Let's try not to get it confused with another Mimic, though. Let's, uh, oh shit, there's two of them, of course. And we can't bring both of them back. This is the worst part about the Mimic step. I wish they had some sort of marking on them. I should have, I should have pinned them immediately when he spawned, but I didn't think there's gonna be another one so close by. Which one to use the real Slim Shady? Stand up now. We're just gonna have to leave this one up to the big Forsaken in the sky. I'm gonna get them both low and throw it down next to both of them and see which one goes in. And we, we just gotta hope that it's the right one. Here we go. Use it. Nope, missed it. We'll do it now. Okay. Please be the right mimic. If not, this is going to really suck. And by the time we go through the teleporter too, it's going to be a completely different mimic. Like this one's not going to follow us. Oh, wait. We had another one spawn here. So if this don't one don't work, this might be the guy. Wait, if, I think it's got to be the guy then. Hold on. Throw that in. Grab this. We'll throw that down. You get in there. He's talking all kinds of shit about Rabinoff and that was not the right one. You did not want us to hear that. This has got to be it, though. Come on, ba Bondar, Bonar. Wrong person. No! No way both of them are wrong. That's so lame. I hate this. I hate everything. You know what, zombie? You're the one that's going to go in it now. Yeah, go ahead and get in there. We're going to get something done. Now we have three full minutes to do whatever we want on this map. This is my favorite part about this Easter egg is that I can kind of just do this. So it's four paces down from the middle. And this one's directly under that. And then it goes all the way over to bottom middle. I feel like I did that last time. So, okay. This is the start. One, two, three. 
three, four. That don't look like the same spot I was shooting earlier. I guess we'll try it. Do I need like a single shot weapon? Hold on. Let's try again. Four. Thirteen. Three. Nope. Thirteen. Six. Three. Bullseye. Is that what I've been forgetting the whole time? I'm an idiot. <sighs> well, you live and you learn. And now we can dispose of this zombie. Give me a new trap back. I'll start a new round. And I just heard a mimic spawn. I gotta make sure to kill all mimics that aren't spawning from an item. That way we don't get confused again. And now we're down to the last few zombies of the round. Let's go see if our mimic buddy's there. Come on, man. Do me a solid. There you go. Get in there. Get in there now. I'm spamming the button. Do it. Okay, let's pick it back up and try again. Get in. Go. Watch out for that thing. Oh, do it. Come here. Get in your box. Why is this not working? Come on. What? Why? Why is this a thing? Get in the essence trap now, please. It says double tap F to use the essence trap. I'm fucking spamming it. Go. Get in. I have to unpin you. Get in the trap. Oh my lanta. It's not telling me target and range. Does it not recognize this mimic? It's not telling me target and range. It do not know that this mimic is here. I'm going to lose my mind. Scanning for target. Scanning for target. I'll even let you knock me. Here, go ahead. I hope this fixes it. I don't think it will, but we're going to try anyways. Can you even kill me, you dipshit? There you go. This is bullshit, dude. They gave us a defective essence trap. Will you respawn over here? He just did and then despawned. Sweet. Now we got to stop a horde. At least spawn in like a mangler so I can work on my ray. Okay. Do something for me, game. Besides fuck me over. That's another round down the drain. And I see more items on the ground. Are they going to try to change my mimic spawn location? Oh, that's our same guy. Get in there. You're still low on health. And it's going to do all this just for me to have the wrong mimic again. They're gonna be like, oh, sorry, that's not the right one. Gotta keep looking, strike team. Yeah, because now there's another one. Get in there. Oh, let's go. It actually worked. Oh, and Mangler. I gotta blow your arm up. There's something you got that I want. There we go. You want it. You got it. Let's get this thing charging. And that should be done in like a round or two. Did I forget to grab the floppy disk? I always do that. Let's slide our floppy in. Let me in there. There's so much sound going on right now. I actually had an audio log and now it's like, oh, 25, 75%. Instable. Have you ever even heard of Skibbity Toilet? All right, Peck, give us the next instructions. Stabilize the portal. You need more power. Find Ethereum crystals. Take them to the ether reactors. Should work. Now, leave me alone. Please. Okay. Open that up. We'll grab the ethereum detector or whatever the fuck. Is this charged? Are we charged over here? Hold your horses, nope. My horses are being held, Carver. I'm hanging on to them as tight as I can. But what if I get it in just one box full? Nope. Lame. What about just two box pulls? No, I'm not a gambling addict. Why do you ask? Okay, whatever. What about now? Gimme. Let's build it. Little knuckle crack. And gimme. We need to find a shovel. Where you at, shovel? There it is. So this first one's easy. We can go right here, shoot down at it, dig it up, and then grab it. This next one's a little more tough, so we're going to have to catch one of these zombies. And I cladded them. Okay. Well, my genius is really showing. I guess we'll dig this one up. And it disappears, and 400 of them spawn. Maybe we don't need the zombie. We just need to find one without any particles in it. This actually might be it. I'm a genius, dude. I'm so smart and so handsome and so cool. I don't think I've ever found it that fast in my life. And our last Ethereum canister is right here. Yep. Dig that bad boy up. Now let's get to defending. Spawn in a million hellhounds, why don't you? Is that it? We got it? Sweet. That's all of them. And maybe we can find an old friend while we're over here. There he is. There's Sergey. What's going on, dude? You want to help me out a little bit? Let's go ahead and toss you on this. And then what do we do? Put an essence trap in there? An essence trap of like, what, a zombie? Let's see. Get in there. And let's toss it in that. Is that what you wanted? Yes, sir. Bro, think he mason. Did I do it wrong? I might have done it wrong. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I don't think it would have told me numbers and exploded if I wasn't doing it right. 
So I'm pretty sure those numbers were the code to the safe in here. Let's unlock it. And we get another jug. I don't want that. I already got jug. And let's go ahead and overclock our reactors. Surely this will work. What? Total collapse imminent. But, but we did everything Peck said. Surely you wouldn't betray us. See, here's the thing. If you believe my deception, does that make it true? Shut up, Peck. We're not done here. There's got to be another way. You're damn right, Weaver. This Easter egg ain't done. Is that satellite ready with the energy beam from the director's new project? The one for Operation Threshold. I wonder what Operation Threshold is. Like, what's this laser for if we weren't going to use it for this Easter egg? But I'm pretty sure the only thing we have left to do is just to move the satellite dish. Is that, is that really it? Question mark? That's one we, what, the one we want? Let's do it. Yes, sir. Got your attention now, don't I, Peck? Stick around. You want to see this. Yeah, take a gander, Peck. Fire that shit now. I also want to know why we need to rotate the satellite just to catch the laser. Why can't... The laser's coming from wherever. Can't just shoot it? I don't know nothing about satellites or lasers. But I feel like just moving it a few degrees wouldn't have changed the, you know, a whole lot. That's it, strike team. Get back to the OPC. On it. Let's get Maxis back. Start it up. Let's go, dude. I'm glad I remembered all these steps. But will I remember how to fight the boss that comes right after this? I do remember the lines, too. Or at least one line. You are... Requiem? Go ahead, say the line. You are... Requiem? Yeah. Damn right we are. And don't you forget it. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. Okay. Surely nothing bad will happen as we're trying to escape here. Rabinov pulling up in the G-Wagon. And my other nemesis, Orda. This changes nothing. You don't scare me one bit. I'm gonna go ahead and hide inside though, for no other reason. I just need a few perks here. A little dead shot can help out. And some speed cola. And we already got him prolapsing. Let's mess him up. 1700 damage per shot. That's what we like to see. And I'm going to go up here to a higher level so we can get a better vantage point on him. Start lighting him up. Once the zombies get close, they're going to eat a cashmere. He's prolapsing. Let's throw a nade at our feet. Shoot his little STDs flying at us. Now the cashmere can go. He's already almost dead. Orda, you're such a weak excuse for a boss fight. And you show up multiple times. This and Outbreak. You're just... You're, you're not a challenge, buddy. I'm sorry to say it. But you did get the, the big laugh on me when I was getting Dark Aether for the first time. You did end up killing me there. But that ain't happening today. Eh, you know what? Maybe a little Death Machine can help sort you out. Oh, maybe not. It actually does nothing to him. But, I mean, we're committed. We gotta use it. I guess it's slowly going down, but only 75 damage per bullet. Kinda ass. Whatever. Don't care. You're dead. Actually, trick shot. A little trick shot time. Night, night. Yeah. Take that, Orda. That won't be the last of it. Now I'm not sure what Easter egg is next. I, I got a little confused talking about this on stream. I was getting different reports. I don't know if it's like both outbreak Easter eggs, then Mauer. Or like one of the Outbreak Easter eggs. And then we go to Mauer. I just know Mauer's after something in Outbreak. But do we have to do both of them? Like Orda and Legion? There's an operation underway in the Ural Mountains. I have to stay in the field. Rabinov's going to the Ural Mountains. I'm sorry to break it to you, Rabinov, but that map got canceled, which sucks. But there's no way they went Orda to Orda again. It's got to be Orda, Firebase C, Legion, then other Orda, then Mauer, right? Yeah, we do, Maxis. Plenty to talk about. And I'm ready to go. I'm always stanced up. Oh, this is the best part by far. Sat there waiting the whole time for some rescue. What's going on, Valentina? I did not put together that you're the same Valentina from uh, later in these Easter eggs. Until, like, last year, I think. And I always forget that Krevchenko is the colonel. Or is he? Yeah, he's gotta be. So we spent all that time chilling in Krakchenko's office. To see a demonstration of your commitment to Omega. Tell me, doctor. Yes, dude. 
Which is your better eye? Get his ass. Sick him. And we did it. We made it through. That's 94,000 scores, 716 eliminations, 346 crits, no revives, and two downs. One of those on purpose. No, two of them were. They're both on purpose. So no downs. Subtract them. And we did it in 18 rounds. That ain't bad for me. But now we're two out of six Easter eggs complete for Cold War. And I am not kidding. Please let me know which one's next. I get so confused between the outbreak ones, which one comes first, which one leads in a mower. I, I, I've done these so many times and I, I still can't remember. So a little assistance is needed. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.